It's 923. Of course, you've heard the importance of self-care, but how often do you actually listen to the advice on it? Do you even know how to do it? This morning, Megan Federer from Indie Moms Blog is with me pointing out that you may have shown everyone else love recently with Valentine's Day, but what about you? So good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? Great, I'm so glad to have you. Uh, it was so fun reading your post because I could tell like about the age of your daughter because you're saying things like extra and sleigh and all the things. Yes. <laughs> it was fun. Yes. Um, so what do you, you talk about in your post the importance of putting ourselves on a to-do list. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, often enough, mothers put themselves at the bottom of the to-do list, if not anywhere on the list. Uh -huh. um, and so I think during the month of love, which is February, that it's important that we start putting ourselves first and setting a good example for our kids, especially our daughters, that it's okay to prioritize ourselves and, you know, give a little back. And we want to talk about some examples of what ways you can give yourself some self-love and self-care. And that doesn't mean when you talk about the list, just no. taking care of those common chores and errands that might be on your list, but that's not caring for yourself, no. even though it makes you feel better to get it done. Right. Grocery shopping is not self-care. Um, so, you know, you can do something as little as 30 minutes of exercise. Um, you can go to Target and wander the aisles while your husband takes care of the kids at home. Um, a lot of moms think they're a bad mom if they leave for a trip to Vegas. Um, so those are the things that you can do, something as small as going to Target or as big as taking a girl's trip. And when you mention Target or whatever your favorite store is, just go there and wander. Yeah. Don't worry mm -hmm. about, again, the list. Yeah. Try all the things on. Don't go to the toy aisle. Because um, <laughs> then you're th right. caring for someone else at that yes, moment. Yes, absolutely. All right. And you mentioned health as well. And you talk in your post about um, health. Of course, that's the ultimate self-care, right, is taking care yes. of your health and well-being. And it can be as quick as a 30-minute video you find online, mm -hmm. something you can do at home. You know, Beachbody is great. I do that. It's 30 minutes. Um, and for us moms, even single moms, limited time. And so get it done. Um, there are calm apps that you can meditate as little as five minutes. And all of that really brings some sort of joy to your own self. And you found some data too that often moms are ignoring their own health yeah. because they're caring about everyone else. 78% of moms um, are putting themselves at the bottom of the list. And that's kind of sad. Yeah. And a lot of this is not only just creating these activities for yourself and thinking of what you can do to make yourself happier, but it's really changing the mindset is what I'm picking up from you and not that it's indulgent. You're, you're not just going out and splurging on something by doing self-care. Right. Um, there's the saying that if mom's not happy, nobody's happy. So if you're not taking care of yourself, you know, the rest of the, the, rest of the vibe at home probably isn't going to be that great. All right. Great things to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. It's a mentality shift. It's something to really just talk yourself into sometimes, yes. but good thoughts to have. So awesome. thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Scott, we'll send it to you. It is nine.